In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually get off the beta if you are actually stuck on it in uh, Minecraft for Bedrock Edition. So uh, let's get into it. Now starting off, this is for if you actually can't get off the beta when actually turning it off in the Xbox Insider Hub. So let's start it off. First to tell if you're actually in the beta, you will see a few things. First of all, on the top of your screen, you should say beta and then a bunch of other stuff talking about your specs and more. But then you might also see this beta tag on the side where it says Minecraft right over here. And you will also be unable to actually join friend servers and a normal server. So it is very important to actually get off the beta if you don't want to be on it. So let's first go into Xbox Insider Hub. So once you're actually inside the Xbox Insider Hub, as you can see, I am not in the Minecraft for Windows 10 beta program. It would be over here in the join section if I was, but I am simply not a part of it since I actually quit out of it. But obviously for some reason I am still in the beta program. So I'm going to be going through the main steps of how to solve this. So first once you're in here, you're going to want to go to announcements. Now you will probably have this in the top left where it says can't leave the Minecraft beta? Try these troubleshooting steps. Now this may take a while to load, but it normally loads within 20 seconds. So what you want to do is simply click on that button. Now once you actually clicked on that button, as you can see it comes up with three solutions. And I'll be going through all of them for you guys. And if you and this is for Minecraft for Windows 10 beta or the Minecraft with RTX for Windows 10 beta as well. So let's get into it. Now starting off with solution A, it is to uninstall and reinstall Minecraft for Windows 10. What you're basically going to want to do is go into your search bar and type in add or remove programs, which should look something like this, add or remove program system settings, and you're simply going to want to open that. Now once you actually have that open, what you're going to want to do is simply search up a Minecraft. Also, before you actually delete anything, I want to make it extremely clear that you actually lose all your world if you uninstall the game. But to actually get past this, you can actually save your world on a different file or like in your download, just save the folder to easily do that. And I'll be showing you guys how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is go into your search bar and search up percent app data percent. Once you're actually in percent app data, what you're going to want to do is actually click on app data. It is right behind roaming in the top search bar, just like that. Then what you're going to want to do is actually click on local. Now within local, you're going to want to search for packages. Now within packages, what you're going to want to search for is a Microsoft.Minecraft. And then click on that. Once you're actually here, what you're going to want to do is click on local state. Now once you're in local state, click on games, then click on com.mojang. Now once you're here, scroll down to Minecraft World. Now once you're in Minecraft World, you'll see a list of folders with all of your worlds in them. But what you're going to want to do is basically copy and paste this world folder. So just select it real quickly like this. Then what you're going to want to do is copy it. Now once you've actually copied it, you can just simply press this button or press Control C, it doesn't matter. And just paste it into your downloads folder or a folder like that where it is not going to get deleted. And then once you actually have done that, then what you're going to want to do is simply go through the uninstall and the reinstall steps. Then paste that back in using the same sets that we just did here. But once you actually come back here, you're just going to want to delete the world folder that is already in here and paste in your old one. And that is how you actually back up all of them. Or another way that you can actually do this is by going into the Minecraft launcher, going into the world that you want to back up like this, clicking on the edit, and then scrolling all the way down and it'll actually say export world. Now you can just click on it and export it. Now that is only if you just want like one or two worlds that you want to do, but if you want all your worlds to stay there, then simply do what I did. And I will actually have that path going all the way to the Minecraft worlds in the description as well. So you guys can easily go to it. Now what you're simply going to want to do is uninstall this one. Where it says Minecraft simply over here by Microsoft Studios and the icon will look like this. So you're just simply going to want to press uninstall and then you're going to want to reinstall it. So just simply click on uninstall just like that. 
and it may take a little bit, but obviously it will uninstall fully. Now once you have actually uninstalled it, open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now as you can see, once I'm actually inside the Minecraft Launcher, all I have to do is click on Minecraft for Windows. Now it will show me an install button, and I just simply press the install button and it will start installing it. Now obviously select whichever drive that you may be using at the time, and then it will obviously install it for you. So let's do this, and it will get it installed all for me. And this obviously will take a little bit, but it should be fine. If it is actually showing this error sign, what you're going to want to do is download it from the Microsoft Store. So instead of going through the launcher, you simply want to go to the Microsoft Store by searching it up in the search bar. So what you're going to want to do is click on the library button all the way down here. And then once you're actually here, what you're going to need to do is see the Minecraft for Windows. Now what you're simply going to want to do is click on retry and see if that will actually fix the problem. Now if this is actually not fixing the problem, just like so, click on these three dots and cancel download. Then what you're going to want to do is go all the way back up to it and then download it once again. Now, as you can see, it will start downloading and hopefully it will work this time. Now, obviously, you may have to actually wait since it is a problem on their end, most likely. And, as you can see, this time it actually worked by cancelling the download and retrying it again. And it does it actually pretty fast, so you should have this in no time. Now what you're going to want to do is simply open up the launcher again. Now just click on Minecraft for Windows and then click on Play. Now, once you've done that, Minecraft should pop up and this should all be working. As you can see, if I put this into full screen, it will actually say that I am off of the beta. And as you can see, we should sign in as well to make sure that we're linking up with our Microsoft account. But as you can see, I am now off the beta and that is perfect. But if this did not work for you, here are some other solutions. Now for solution B. Solution B says to actually rejoin the Minecraft for Windows 10 beta. Now once you're actually in it, you're just going to want to unenroll. Then after you unenroll, you want to uninstall and reinstall Minecraft for Windows 10. So for solution B, I will only be going over the first two steps. And then for number three, you can just do solution number A because I basically do the same thing and I don't want to keep on uninstalling it and reinstalling it when you can simply go back to the first part. But I'll have timestamps for all of these so you can simply do them. So well, let me close this. What you're going to want to do is simply go to previews and click on Minecraft for Windows 10. Then you basically want to gonna... Then once you're here, you're going to want to click join. So once you actually do this, you want to press continue right as well. And then it will be pending. But as you can see, after a little bit, it will actually let you into the program. Just like so. Now, once you're actually in here, you're just going to want to click on update once again as well, and everything should work. Now, once you've done that, it should actually pop up and show that you are in the beta once again. So, now that you're on the beta, what you're going to want to do is simply go back out of the beta. So, once again, open up Xbox Insider, then click on the back or the manage button. As you can see, if you click on the Manage button, you can actually leave the preview. So we'll just click on Leave on Preview and press on Continue. Now it should be pending once again and unenroll you. And obviously, hopefully this will work with unenrolling you. And then if we open up a Minecraft Bedrock once again, as you can see, that may or may have not worked. So after that, you're just going to want to follow my uninstall steps that I showed in Solution A. Obviously, there will be timestamps. On the little bottom, it will be like chapters or whatever it's called on YouTube. You're just going to want to switch to that and you can uninstall it. Now for solution number three. Now this one is pretty simple. You just go to the search bar and type in command prompt or CMD. And it should look something like this. Now what you're going to want to do before you actually click on it is click run as administrator right down here. 
just like so, you're just going to want to click on run as administrator. It may show you this pop up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And you just want to press on yes. Since this will actually do nothing to you and is from Microsoft Windows. So just click on yes. Now once you're here, you should see something like this. Then what you're going to want to do is simply type in PowerShell. Now, as you can see, it should look something like this. You can either copy it from the Xbox Insider Hub if you have that, or just type in PowerShell, just like that. Then click on Enter. And then you're going to want to type in this. I will actually have all of these commands in the description as well for you guys to easily copy and paste it if you actually can't access this little tab. So it should be fine for you guys. Then you're just going to want to paste it in, just like so and then press on enter. And once again, you're gonna wanna uninstall and reinstall Minecraft for Windows 10. But once again, you can obviously check if it worked by opening up the Minecraft launcher and run. And once again, opening up a Minecraft for Windows 10. Obviously, it will probably not work, but it should be fine for you guys if you uninstall it. But obviously that may not work, so I would recommend uninstalling it anyways just to make it work. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If I helped you in any way, shape, or form, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and possibly share with a friend if they're having this problem as well. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.